Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at question 1e of the 2017 MAT exam. We are told that a and b are positive integers, such that a plus b equals 20. And we need to work out what the maximum value that a squared times b can take. We are given 5 possible answers, but brute force calculation will take way too long. Is there a smart way to go about this? We know that a plus b equals 20, and a and b are both positive integers. This limits the values of a and b. They both have to be less than or equal to 19 and greater than or equal to 1. We want to maximize a squared times b. The way we're going to do this is by substituting one of these values into this expression right here. Let's rearrange for b. This will be 20 minus a. Now we're going to substitute b into this expression right here. It's easier to substitute in for b. You can also do a, but it will be a bit more complicated. So now we're going to get a function only in terms of a. Let's call it f, f of a equals a squared, and we substitute in for b, we get 20 minus a. You can expand this out to give us 20 a squared minus a cubed. Our problem is now to maximize this function given that a is in the range between 1 and 19. We can do this by differentiating and finding its turning point, so let's do that. f dashed of a is going to be 40 times a minus 3 a squared. And the turning points will be precisely the roots of this equation right here. Let's take this on to the other side. We get 40a equals 3a squared. And we know that 0 is not a solution because a has got to be greater than or equal to 1. So we can just divide through by a and we're not going to lose any solutions. So we get 40 equals 3a. And dividing by 3, we get a equals 40 over 3. This is roughly... 13.3, which is obviously not an integer. So we're just going to take the value of a equals 13, the closest integer. Okay, so if we use this expression up here, b equals 20 minus a, and sub in for a equals 13, we're going to get b equals 7. Our last step is to actually calculate this value right here. So a squared times b is going to be equal to 13 squared times 7, and this is 169 times 7, and if you do the calculation, you'll get 1183. Looking back at the question, we see that the correct answer is in fact D. And that's how you answer question 1E. Definitely one of the trickier questions in this paper.